Happy almost Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm going to do the hall and the family room. I did not do my craft room. Just had too much going on and yard work and so forth. And I figured I'd just wait and do that for Easter. And I didn't do as much as I normally would in the family room. But I wanted to show you what I did do. Here's what I did on the gate down here. Just uh, hung a banner with the paper pieces on it and a heart that John embellished. And there's where I hung the basket with some greenery that I got last week and that gorgeous guardian angel. And here is another beautiful Jesus with the sheep. I can't get that one well on account of the light. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we'll go this way. And here is another gorgeous one. If I can get the glare away. All of these, John, has restored the frames and cleaned the glass and so forth. I've collected religious prints for a very long time. And here's the fireplace and mantle. And we'll go over closer. And up there is another gorgeous print. That's Mary. The frame on that one is just wonderful. And I just put some of my pottery vases and pictures. And I put a little Valentine one in it. And I have vintage Valentine's sprinkled all through the family room. Down here you can see I used that beautiful old drawer that we bought at a yard sale. John painted part of it white and left that beautiful centerpiece, the wood color, to show off the detail on it. And I just put some flowers in the drawer and set one of my old buckets on top that John had painted and distressed. And there are some old spindles in there. Here is an adorable bride and groom valentine. I thought that was appropriate in front of my cabinet with all my bride and grooms. And here is a beautiful fold out one with the honeycombs. It's a pretty good size one. And on the mantle you can see that gorgeous butterfly garland that my sweet friend Stacy sent me from Blissfully in Season. It's just gorgeous. And this time, instead of putting a print up there, I decided to put this unusual cream-colored vintage toll tray. You don't see the cream color ones very often. Most of them that you see are black and then green. I think probably the rarer colors are the white and the red. But I just love it up here. And here is another gorgeous fold-out three-dimensional one. It has a tiny honeycomb at the bottom. And I think this one is precious. And I put this beautiful aged-looking pearl garland. I've had that for years. One of my vases. Another gorgeous three-dimensional one. Just look at the detail on that. And in my large urn, I just put those, I don't know what kind of flowers they're supposed to be, but they're beautiful. They're kind of a white ball, and uh, I put some ferns in there, and then I have some hanging out of the side. And I hung another one of those pearl garlands right there with those galvanized hearts that I've had for a long time. And it's just a mixed bunch of flowers there. There's a closer look. And look at this, Valentine. Isn't she sweet? She's holding her dolly. And back there is another adorable one. Didn't do anything on the ladder. That heart stays there most of the time. And over here, 
another sweet old valentine and my lady here is holding her heart i just love this angel that cindy got me years and years ago and i put another old valentine inside the crown and this bling tree stays like this most of the year with all these wonderful ornaments that came from uh, Maryfield up where the kids live. I just love all these gorgeous ornaments. I love this tree. And look at the bird with the crown. And he has the old age looking ribbon hanging off of it. And here's the Jim Shore lamp that Janet gave us last year. Just love it. It's beautiful. Didn't do anything on the wreath, and I just put one of my big demijohns right there on the pedestal. And on here, I just put another one of the hearts that John embellished. You can get another look of the hall. And I know it's a lot of stuff back here, but y'all know we love to have our treasures out. I had somebody tell me last time I did the family room that I had too much stuff. And I know I have a lot of stuff. But you know, I've told you before, decorate to please yourself. If you love it and your husband loves it, that's all that matters. And we do love it. On the table, I kept it simple. I just put these heart placemats that came from home goods a couple years ago i've got my old silver tray here and two ironstone platters and this gorgeous vintage louis sherry chocolate box and one of my old flower pots with some pink florals and back there are some candles in an old silver tray We'll go back there in a minute and see that. Over here, I brought out some of my little pink flower pots. Let me slide around here so that I can show you. <laughs> I love this little pink Scotty, and I usually bring them upstairs for Easter, and I may still do it. And my wonderful McCoy flower pots are still up there. And I put out that beautiful birdhouse that John uh, embellished with all those neat pieces. And of course, the toll trays stay here most of the year, as does this owl tree. Love this little child's piece of furniture. I'll go around over here and I'll open the cupboard for you, but I'll just give you a view right here. Back here, which I'll show you in a minute, I brought out a lot of my Royal Dalton pieces, Toby jugs. I'm gonna open the doors I kept a lot of my glass that's in here all the time. I think it's just gorgeous. And I put those red beads that was in there for Christmas. I kept those in there. This wonderful pressed glass pitcher on this side, this was my granny's. I just think that is gorgeous. Down here on this shelf, I brought my wonderful pink lady planter down. She's usually in the cupboard in the bedroom upstairs. And I kept out the red Fenton. Put a couple little Valentines in here. I think all this glass just looks so pretty with the red. And another vintage Valentine in the Fenton basket.
Kip out a couple pieces of the red and white transfer wire. My birds with the crowns are still in there. Just added some red hearts. I wish I'd have had a third one of those red bead chains. Like I said, I've had those for years. I'm happy I have two, though. So just one last look. Just love it. I'm going to get these doors shut so I don't run into them. And I'll show you this cute little bird, which I probably will leave this out for Easter, too. Look at that little bird in the heart. Isn't that precious? With this little feather tail. This piece here, this love, came from Kroger's years ago. One of the nicest things they ever had. I love it because it looks like it's made out of old architectural pieces. And there's where I put that beautiful shelf we got last year. Over here, just lots of vintage goodness. And down here on this shelf, this is where a lot of the Royal Dalton pieces are. There's the Three Musketeers. I love that little chubby Toby there. And these little ones with the faces, those are Barleycorn. I think they're just cute as they can be. That John loves those. And there's Winston Churchill. And more of the John Barleycorns. And more of my McCoy flower pots. And this little planter, I just think he is precious. And a cute valentine. And in my scale, mercury glass hearts with a beautiful valentine. And in this jar, I just put a little ice cream cone valentine. There's all the pot lids, as John calls them, from England. And there's the silent butler we got at a yard sale. And this is a vintage Precious Thoughts book. My opera glasses. Here is another adorable Valentine. And a little silver creamer. These are tiny flower frogs, and that one on top is one of the tiniest I've ever seen. And up here are some of my brown transfer wire pieces. This is um Hallmark Valentine. It's a reproduction from the 90s, but it's beautiful. More brown transfer wear and clocks and silver and old books. And in this jar is another old Valentine. And look at that cute one with the puppies. I'll come around here so you can see this. I'll get back so you can see it good. And then I'll go closer. Ironstone and pottery and silver. Lots of that in these shells. And then... I added in some cute little valentines. I think that one's really cute. And I put a couple of old frames that John had painted and rubbed with gold behind using my silver pitcher and a beautiful piece of glass. And I love these milk glass hands and I just put a little heart in it. There's a vintage valentine and there's that beautiful candy box that we got was that last no two weeks ago and some more vintage valentines 
They're just wonderful. And of course, y'all know I love my crowns. And another piece of glass and my metal hand with a heart pin in it. This one is ex exceptionally beautiful. And I just laid some down right there. So pretty. And milk glass and mercury glass. And Demi John's. And there's that huge pantry box or cheese box. And this is a favorite piece, this old shoe shine chair. And this tin is not antique or anything, but it definitely is vintage if now they consider vintage 20 years because I've had it longer than that. But I thought it was so pretty. And just a few Valentine touches on this tree. This little scrap art angel, I actually meant to use that at Christmas, but I couldn't remember where it was at, and it was with the Valentines. And here's another vintage scrap art angel. But it works for Valentines or Christmas. And in this milk glass compote, I just put some red hearts. And of course, John's house stays there all the time. And down here in the giant ironstone bowl, sitting on a huge platter, I just put some of the bobbins, the old bobbins in there. And that's all that's in there. So this is all of the Valentine tour downstairs. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I did. And I'm looking forward to getting out spring but I'm also looking forward to St. Patty in the kitchen. So St. Patty is what I'll start doing next. Half the kitchen I've told you will be St. Patty and half of it will be Easter. And then after St. Patty, all of it will be Easter and spring. So love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. We'll see you again soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.